but that shirt was $350. I was like, no ma'am. I'm going to find something else to wear with these. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Miss Unbreakable Timeline, also known as Chantel. And if you are new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way, every time I upload a video, you guys will be notified. As well as, don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way, you definitely will know when I upload a video. So, if you guys hear like a little fan, don't worry about it. It's freaking hot in here, okay? If y'all do videos, y'all know how hot these lights be. But anyways, so as you guys can tell by the title, your girl is doing an affordable luxury haul. And can we just normalize these affordable luxury hauls? Because I see a lot of people on here showing Chanel bags and all of that for $3,000. And I'm like, sis, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I cannot spend $3,000 on a bag, okay? Like... That's just not in my budget. I have kids, I have things, you know, other things, more important things, just be spending all my little coins on one bag, okay? <laughs> so, just priorities, okay? But if you got it, sis, go ahead and we're going to normalize black women in luxury, period, okay? Regardless. But I wanted to bring you guys an affordable luxury haul because a lot of people still not working and it's a struggle nowadays, you feel me? So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring back a few old little pieces or old luxury brands that was luxury back in the day but you know like i said everybody going into the chanel's and the fendi's and all of that so i want to bring y'all something a little different <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love the pieces that i'm about to show you the items that i'm about to show you then go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let's go ahead and Let's get rolling. <laughs> All right, so I'm not going to go in like a specific order or whatever, but I do want to go with one brand first, the next, and then the So the first brand I'm going to go with is Coach Baby, okay? Now, who remembers Coach being like the real luxury type of brand? Like a lot of people was, well, when you had money like that back in the day, like my high school days, People would go and buy Coach, and it was a little bit expensive back then for our pockets. But now everybody get making money, getting that bag, and Coach is now like a brand that's kind of at the bottom now. It's not like with the Chanel's and the Fendi's, but a lot of people just forgot about Coach. I actually got these shoes for Mother's Day. My boyfriend bought these for me. Very affordable. I will leave all the prices on the screen of everything if I can't remember exactly how much I pay for each item. So these are Coach's sandals and they remind me of other brands that have this type of design but I freaking love this sandal. It has the Coach sign on the bottom of the heel and it has their logo printed on the heel of the sandal and this part right here like the strap part reminds me of other brands that's way more expensive but my boyfriend only paid like a hundred dollars for these you guys like you cannot beat that so it's like i always say that you cannot beat it it's very affordable but i just love how they look they're so simple i was looking for the dior sandals that everybody wearing nowadays but then they didn't have the dior store where we was going so my boyfriend was like do you want to just go and coach and i was like you know what yeah because i'm not about to spend 600 dollars on some shoes i was but this is a way more cheaper i love that it has like a off-white color and it's more like beige that this can go with almost anything you guys gonna see these shoes a lot on my vacation but yeah just something soup soup 
just something so cute and simple you guys the next coach item that i got and the rest of the stuff i got with my own money i mean it's not that expensive you know what i'm saying but i still got it with my own money is this coach headband or scarf so this is coach signature design skinny print it's a vintage scarf head scarf yeah so i call this like a little headband head scarf or whatever i also love the colors in this it has a little bit of like that reddish pinkish shades in the seas and it also has like a brown and nude as well well yeah the little like dots are like a, a burgundy a dark dark burgundy color and i just love how this look it was so cheap as well you guys I only paid about oh yes yeah, right here so i paid 75 dollars for this scarf way cheaper than any other scarf okay so i'm bringing back coach baby i'm trying to bring back coach and that's just what it is i'm not spending 200 dollars on a scarf although i ain't gonna lie i was but <laughs> i was gonna also get the dr scarf for like 200 dollars. but i was like you know what no let me just keep it all in the coach family and yeah so i got this simple just wear it as a little like head scarf like this when i go on vacation but 75 dollars you still can't beat that that's way better than 200 dollars on a simple little scarf i love the colors i love the details of it it has their you know logos or everything just like any name brand luxury type of item so now let's go with this purchase you guys i was looking at this item for a good like two three weeks i was like okay shan do you really want to spend your money on this and i was like hell yeah because i got other things coach you know and i really wanted something to match my coach shoes so i got this beauty right here how freaking cute is this look at the detailing in this purse okay it has the coach wording on the buckle part and it also has like their like kind of like their logo with the horse and it has the horse carriage in the back of it but i freaking love that it is gold and it also is a off white just like my shoes and this can go with any outfit okay i'm also taking this on vacation but this can go with any outfit it has a little like off black type of color like outline on the buckle part on the top part and just all around on the back and this is the back of it i love that it has the gold circles as well that's like the detailing on this bag is so pretty as you guys can tell i did not really take it out of the plastic wrap but it also has a strap which i'm going to take off i really don't like straps too much on my purses i like to hold it by the handle just like this for the most part but again on vacation i'm still bringing the belt part with me because you can wear it as like a satchel and have it over your body or you can just have it hanging on your shoulders i'm so weird how i'm showing this right now but you can have it just hanging you know just carry it on the side like that or you can have the strap coming around like this sorry i'm not going to take it out the bag right now but you can have it worn just like this as well and i paid the original price was 350 dollars but i only paid 180 something i will leave the exact price on the screen and i got it like kind of like half off but how cute i love it this is like one of my favorite pieces that i got all right so that so far is all the coach items that i got now let's go ahead and move on to shoes and then the last few items are clothing items now this next item shoe i'm about to show you guys y'all i remember back in the day y'all know i always have a little story for y'all right so i remember back in the day i used to shop shoe all the time and i'm like what happened to this brand like 
not too many people talking about them buying them back in the day everybody was wearing these okay well not these but was wearing this brand so the brand that i am talking about is steve madden and y'all remember how affordable steve madden was and they they prices are still like the same to be honest you're not going to spend more than like 200 dollars on a pair of shoes so i was looking for a specific like pair of shoes with heels to go with a certain outfit and y'all when i ran across this i put in like strappy heels or something like that and i ran across these shoes and i was like shane you gotta get them you have to buy these and i don't know if they're like one of their newest shoes or they're old i haven't seen anybody in these anybody and I'm sure people have them out there, but I just have not seen anyone in them. And they are these bad babies, y'all. Like, look how freaking cute these are, okay? So, it has like a black velvet. What is that? Velvet? So, it has like a black velvet right here and on the outline of the shoe. And then right at the strap it has like a clear piece i don't know if you guys can see that but it has like this clear piece right on underneath all these multicolor straps and it kind of has like a little like knot here and then it has these two knots on the side like y'all i tried these on and they were just a hitter okay I always loved Steve Madden shoes and I paid about a hundred a hundred dollars for these 120 I believe again I'll put the price on the screen for you guys also all of the like links where I got everything will be in the description bar below so make sure you guys check that out if you want to purchase these same items but you guys I love the multicolor in these I love that it has pink it has gray on one string it has black and white on one string and the black and white kind of look like a fendi sign in a way and it also has like another like real multicolor strap and i just think these are like freaking adorable you can wear these with anything well not anything because it has so many colors in it you just got to find the right fit to wear with it you could wear a plain white dress plain black dress or you can even wear you know up or down like i could wear these shoes with this skims shirt that i got on i should have did a skims too in here because skims is a little expensive you feel me but anyways <laughs> but yeah so you can definitely wear these up or down and i just love them y'all i just love them okay but i don't hear too many people talking about steve madden anymore like i feel like a lot of people forget these you know brands now because again they're getting money and they're trying to keep up with the joneses and like i'm not i'm not trying to keep up with the joneses i'm trying to be the joneses okay so i'm not trying to keep up with them so i'm shopping affordable period I don't have time for that. I don't have time to be trying to show off on the gram. Steve Madden it is. And I will still keep buying Steve Madden because they have some cute behind shoes. Now, now we're going, going to go into clothing. So my first clothing item is this brand called BBX brand. And honestly, I've seen Tiara Walker. She's also a YouTuber. And I also follow her on the gram because she be, she be coming with some fire behind items. So anyway, so she posted like these items from this brand. And I was like, yeah, I like that brand <laughs> so far because of the pieces that I've seen on her. So I went onto the website and for the longest I've been like contemplating on what to get. And not only that, these were on sale. Okay? These were on sale and they were calling for me. So I got these shorts from the brand BBX brand. And I believe I paid about $40 to $60 for these. They are our doors i already tried these on and i just think they fit me so nice i love the detailing in these pants i love the stitching on these pants in the back at the top like can y'all see that the stitching in these pants are freaking adorable, and they have the same stitching 
in the back as they do in the front. And I love that up here, the stitching comes like in to where it looks like it's like stitching you in a little bit more, but it's really not. But these shorts are super comfortable. I love that their brand have like these holes in them and it has like a hard I don't know what this is called but it has like a hard piece around the circle and in the circle it doesn't have no material behind it so it's showing your skin and I love that about that brand it's different that's their signature I guess on their items but I have to check that brand out it is a black owned brand so y'all know I'm all about the black owned as well you know woman empowerment women you know coming up coming up so while we're on shorts I have another pair of shorts but these y'all yeah, okay so I follow Lori Harvey on the gram you know what I'm saying I follow her and I seen that she had these shorts on and I was like bro what <laughs> what shorts does she have on because I freaking love this kind of like short boxers y'all know I love boxers like if you can make it fashionable I'm getting them and a lot of like companies now are making these boxers like so nice looking the shorts that I got are from Alexander Wang okay I hope I'm saying that right but these not the exact ones she Lori Harvey had on she had on ones that's like a little different colors but they were more like a blue and white stripe boxers and this one I got pink white and blue okay I love these y'all I tried them on and they fit pretty good I just love how like these shorts are like at the top it's like a normal color and then it fades like have like that ombre effect to it and I was gonna get their shirt to match this but that shirt was $350 I was like no ma'am I'm going to find something else to wear with these but I did pay a, a pretty little change for these which I paid $250 for these okay don't tell nobody don't tell nobody but I paid $250 for these and I just thought they were like cute of course I could have found the same kind of boxers with a different brand but I just wanted Alexander Wang okay I wanted her boxers so not much that I can say about it i love the color like i said i love how it goes into like an ombre effect and it just has her her tag on the front of the boxers and also of course inside the boxers but i know y'all probably like girl 250 dollars for some dog on boxes you wildin sis yeah i was wildin but i'm gonna get a good use out of these okay now this next company it is a little expensive and but i don't know if they're considered like a luxury brand probably is because they're a little expensive the next piece that i got is from house of cb and i got this black just plain old skirt i got this because i always wanted something from house of cb let's be honest their stuff is mad expensive in a way i mean it's not like 250 dollars expensive unless you get a certain type of dress then yes but they're a little expensive so I was like you know what let me find something that's pretty cheap and that I can really use on vacation like all these items guys sorry I didn't mention I don't know if I mentioned but all these items I am taking with me on vacation so I was like let me find something that I can wear with a certain type of top that I got for vacation or if like we go out to eat or whatever so I got this skirt and I love that it has like these little like a little pleated type of skirt at the bottom i don't know exactly what this skirt is kind of like the style of this skirt is called but i thought it was just the cutest thing and i got it in a size extra small i'm sorry i didn't even tell you guys the other sizes that i got everything i got is in extra small i try to make sure i get everything extra small because i am a tiny girl you feel me well a tiny woman i ain't no girl I'm a tiny woman so everything i got is in a size extra small i also tried these on fit pretty good and i love that it has like the kind of like elastic but the elastic don't stretch it's just at the top I, I i don't know why i don't know you know they they do 
what they do over there okay but it does have elastic inside and like i said it does not stretch it does have a zipper on the side and i just thought this was the cutest thing you can also wear this with anything you guys will see how i'm gonna style all these pieces on my instagram so make sure you are following me y'all know i'm gonna put it on the screen for y'all if i haven't already and i paid only like about $30 for the skirt. I'm not exactly sure, but I will put it on the screen. The original price, I believe, was about like $70 for this skirt. But I got it while it was on sale, which I was like, good. Because I just wanted something from House of CB. So we're going to go on to the next piece. And this piece is from Wolf Ford. And this is a bodysuit. I got this bodysuit in an extra small, like I said about my other pieces. And this is in the shade powder. But it's like a nude. And I've been seeing, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I've been wanting this bodysuit for like a good year now. I've been seeing so many people wear it and I'm like, okay. I really like it and I just loved how it has like the extra like cuff in the bodysuit so it does have like a padding in the bodysuit my boots not that big at all but I am in a size like B so I did get the cup B in this bodysuit and look how small it looks you guys but that's what this bodysuit does. It's really, really, really snatches you in. I have not tried it on yet, which I should have. So you can wear this under like a dress or anything like that that's cut out the same way the top is. Or you can just wear this as a regular bodysuit. You can wear jeans with this. You can wear whatever. So anyways, I'm also taking this on vacation. I haven't worn it yet. Just waiting for vacation. <laughs> so I paid... $250 okay let me make sure yeah I paid like $250 for this so yeah it's affordable but not affordable okay but <laughs> but if you really want something you're going to pay for it well I know I do and I, I really don't buy myself expensive expensive items but I will say this is expensive it, I mean give or take you can say it's affordable or not but yeah, $250, I don't know, y'all. I don't know. I was, like, contemplating on this for, like, a year. And then finally, I was like, you know what? Nah, I want it. I'm going to copy it, okay? But it's just a simple, plain, new bodysuit. And it's just it's simple, you guys. <laughs> so now we just have one more piece to go, being that we're in the whole, like, bodysuit, you know, department. So I got this bodysuit. Y'all, I love the color of this bodysuit. Y'all know, like, usually I used to love freaking colors all the time. Like, all my items, I love color. I got this bodysuit, and I'm going to wear it as a bathing suit. So I love that the bra area, you can tie it behind your neck, and it has, like, this, like, sheer netted type of material and then at the bottom of the bodysuit it just has like a plain soft stretch i'm not sure exactly the name of the type of material it is but i just love it you guys it's just really really simple the cutout explains itself on how it is made and I love that it does have like this like gold detail, not gold detailing, but this gold buckle, I guess you would call it, or hardware on the bodysuit. And it, but the material does cover the hardware, so you can't really see the gold hardware on it. But I think this will fit me really good. It is in a size extra small, and this were about how much did I pay for this? I think this was about like $50. That's it, you guys. I'm going to put it on the, sh on the screen for you guys. But this was not like expensive. It was other stuff on there that I wanted. But I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to get this because I have other items. And I'm going to just get this and wear it like a bathing suit. So hopefully, I have not tried it on yet. But hopefully, it fits pretty good. So not so bad, you guys. 
it's just a plain bodysuit it does have a long like bottom area so i hope that don't look too crazy because i'm not like mad thick okay i'm not even thick at all I, I just got little little curves so i'm hoping that fits me pretty well so you guys i hope you guys really 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 enjoyed this affordable luxury haul and like I said, I will leave everything down below. That way you guys want to just go ahead and check them out. Or if you want these items as well, then yeah, you can just go right to the website. And let me know what was your favorite piece. And would you buy it? Or are y'all trying to live like the Joneses and be like everybody else on Instagram and go on to buy these $3,000 bags when you ain't got the money? So let me know. So you guys, I hope you guys really enjoy. And until next time, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Bye, you guys.